So one moment we are looking at schools for Gabriel. Then next thing we know, we are on a plane back to the US. What happened? Let me take you back. So we were really interested in the schools in the area. We had rented a house and actually signed a lease, a year lease on a place that was 10 minutes away from the schools we are looking at now. One of the things that we loved about the schools is that the schools had so much accessibility to outside. It was almost as if the school was made to integrate with outside opposed to blocking it out. And as school teachers, one of the things that we hated about our classrooms is that half of them don't have windows, let alone capabilities to walk from outside to inside. So the classroom looks like it was made for human interaction. And most of the time here, it's super expensive for that setup, but here, it was like 700 a month and something like 7,000, 8,000 a year. Totally affordable to me anyways. The school was really the only place that was as affordable, probably the school and Uber, but living expenses in Costa Rica is around the same as what we pay here. To be honest, yes, there's so much space for them to move around. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Normally, most of the classes that are in the first floors, they have like open doors to open spaces. But I love, love the play area. I love, love the accessibility to nature. I love there was like a chicken coop. So many different things. Um, one of the things I liked most was that they did an interview with Gabriel and gave us information. And over the break, we were able to work with him on writing. And they were always so interactive with the parents. So we were really excited about that. And going into looking at those schools, we were also thinking about bringing him to private schools in Atlanta, where we moved. Uh, didn't necessarily work out like that. But um, we were absolutely thankful for the exposure to what those standards were and what our standards should be. So we ended up moving back to the U.S. because of the infrastructure in Costa Rica. There was not a lot of internet. The internet would go in and out. And honestly, our online business could not handle that type of in and out that we had to do so we came back and now we're looking for gabe's school again